There's been a lot of drama here in Bangkok this morning because this was the uh, outcome that no one really expected. Uh, both uh, Ying Lak's lawyers and her supporters very much expected her to turn up this morning, um, and she didn't. Now, her whereabouts are currently unknown. There's a fairly large press contingent outside her house, which is about a 30-minute drive from the courthouse in the northern suburbs of Bangkok. Um, and there are lots of rumors flying as to where she may be, um, but nothing concrete so far. She's, she's simply disappeared. The trial has been going on for about 18 months now, and uh, today the verdict was due to be delivered. Um, Ying Luck's kind of flagship policy when she was elected was a rice subsidy scheme, which essentially paid about twice the market rate for rice. Um, now, that was very popular amongst farmers in Thailand's northeast, which is where uh, the Shinawatra political dynasty uh, get most of their support from. Um, but it caused uh, a lot of anger um, um, amongst her opponents. And what happened was uh, the rice was stockpiled, um, but it wasn't sold. And India and Vietnam that year essentially filled the market with rice. Uh, and Thailand was left with a whole bunch of stockpiles of rice that it couldn't sell. So it was a very controversial scheme, um, but very popular amongst her supporters.